Hello friends, in this session I am solving uh, some problems based on data interpretation. Uh, the problems are from IBPS paper 2012. Here the first set of question is there. Uh, here we are given a bar graph that shows time taken to travel in hours by six vehicles in two different days, right? Day 1 and day 2, right? So, and apart from that we are given a table over here. The time, the distance covered by the vehicles on day 1 and on day 2, right? So straight go to the first question now. The first question is, which of the following vehicles travel at the same speed on both the days? Now what is speed? That is distance by time, right? We have four options, that is A, B, C, F, and if none of them is um, the correct, then we have the option E, none of these, right? So we need to check the speed of A, B, C, and F, right? So let's do one by one. Now A, we can see on the day one, 832 kilometer, on the day two, 864 kilometer, right? But if we see the graph that this bar graph, the time taken on both the days is same. But distance is different and time is same, that means speed cannot be same. Speed is what? Distance by time, right? So if distance is same, uh, if distance is different and time is same, then speed cannot be same, right? So vehicle A cannot be the correct choice. Now we go to vehicle B. So on day 1, 516 and day 2, 774, right? So I just compare 516 and 774, right? On the day 1, the time taken was this 10, 11, 12, 13. And on the second day, the time taken was... 15, 16, 17, 18, right? Now I have to make the comparison between these two. So if A by B is equal to C by D, then their cross multiplication must be equal. That means A into D must be equal to B into C, right? So if I cross multiply them, I just check out the unit digit. I will not go for the entire multiplication. See here it is 6 and here it is 8. Unit digit of this multiplication will produce 8 and will be produced as 8. In this case, the unit digit is 2. 3 into 4, 12, that's 2, right? So, this uh, ratio cannot be equal to this ratio. That means speed of B is not the same on both the days, right? Similarly, we can check for C. C is 693 and 810. 693810. Now, C is on the first day, it is 12. On the second day, it is 15, 16, 17, 18. The same thing we'll do over here. Here the unit digit is 4, here the unit digit is 0. So even C is not the correct choice. Now we go for D. D is 552 and 765. So I write 552765. And D is uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 over here. And 765 by 16 over here. So further, it's 2 and it's 5. So even this is not the same, right? Now we are left with just F. F is 703 and 636. 703 and 636. And here we can say, see the time. That is 18 and this is 14, right? So this by 18, this by 14. Uh, these two data are closer, but these are like quite uh, far from each other and unit digit is also not matching. This is 2 and this is 8, right? So none of them is correct, right? So without multiplication, you can say. I hope you are getting me. So answer to the previous problem is none of these, right? Now let's take this problem. What was the difference between speed of vehicles uh, A on day 1 and the speed of vehicle C on the same day? That means we have to make the comparison between uh, the speed of vehicle A and C on day 1, right? So on day 1, A is 832 and C is 693, right? So it's, I write it over here, 832, 693. On the day 1, time taken by A is 16 hours. And time taken by C is 12 hours, right? Now quickly we get the approximate idea. 16, 5s are 80. 16, 2s are 32. 12, 5s are 69. Uh, 12, 8s are 96. It will be something around 
uh, you can say something right because 12 eights are 96 and we are just having 93 so it's 57.5 I guess or 57 point so precise the difference is uh, 57.5 minus 52 that is around 5.5 let's see the options uh, we don't have any option that is less than 6 right so our answer is still none of these getting my point now the distance traveled by uh, vehicle F on day 2 was approximately what percent of distance traveled by it on day 1, right? Vehicle F, it is day 1, it is day 2, so 703 and 636, right? So we have to find out. by 703. Now since we have to get the approximate idea, right? So what I do is I make it 700, right? And we have to find out the percentage. So 7 nines are 63 and it will be something around 90 to 91%, right? And since we have to calculate uh, the approximate answer, our answer must be 90 because other options are quite far from this, right? Uh, I'm sure you're getting me.